Hey guys, Groove Long Way Back. I'm Aaron. Eric. I'm Rick. And we're here with a commentary, this time for The Terminator. Yes. The original Terminator. A horror movie. Yes. H horror. <laughs> yes. <laughs> horror sci-fi, a lot like the last movie that we so, did yeah. a commentary to. Yeah. Um, this one here is going to be the Blu-ray edition of Terminator. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's anything special about it. We have paused. Where are we at? Uh, we are right after the Orion logo at the beginning of the movie. So the first perceivable frame of blackness after the Orion logo. So I figure we'll get into it, and then we'll just discuss as we go through, right? Yeah, let's, let's do, it. do it. So let's start this up here in three, two, one, play. All right. So this is part of our uh, scary, spooky October. Yeah. Uh, now some people may not consider Terminator being horror movies, but uh, I mean the first one's the first one. The first one's much more of a scary movie than you know it's a slasher the one. really yeah in a way yeah i mean it's just it's a shooter it well <laughs> you it, know what i mean it's, it's not, a how far from now 10 years damn it's a thinking man slasher yeah mm. like there's a lot of deep and interesting concepts in the terminator movies very true now i, I saw the second one first me mm. too i didn't see the first one till much much me later me too man you know that might be the same with me i don't remember yeah, I saw the second Terminator far too young in my life as well. Yeah, uh, I did too, and I really wish I had that like uh, that realization of like, holy shit, he's a good guy now. You I know. know right? I was just like, what? He's a good guy. Follow him, Sarah. Come on. Yeah, that's just. Well, like, without seeing the first one, you lose some of that stuff in the second one, which we'll get into if we ever react to the second one or, or commentate to the exactly. second one, right? So, God, it was rage for decades. Here we that, are, that um, be fun in the ten future. years be fun into the future. The tonight. Sorry. Ten years in the future from today. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have the 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 future present. I could see this moment. happening in ten years. Covered in skulls. Yep. You know, yeah. Disney created Skynet or something, and. They took over everything else, and <laughs> yes, <laughs> like that's probably how it happened. Well, you know, one year before this was War Games, so I think like in the culture of the '80s, there was this fear of technology, especially like in technology. the military. Yeah, because hmm. uh, we see how it turns out in this movie. Not great. Yeah, true. Uh, so interesting thing about the script for this: um, Harlan Ellison sued Orion successfully for copyright infringement. Ooh, really? Because he wrote a couple Outer Limits episodes that had a similar sort of premise. Mm -hmm. uh, soldier, a soldier from the future goes back in time to save a woman from an enemy soldier from the future. That's... I mean, it's the same it's concept. It's basic, but yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it, uh, they were like human soldiers yeah. in that one of them wasn't like a Terminator or something wasn't like that. Wasn't a machine of any kind or anything. Yeah. I that's mean, there's a little bit more to it here, but that's yeah. the same kind of idea, I, think I guess. right now is the perfect place to place this conversation where me and Aaron have been talking about the similarities to two different songs. <laughs> one, the Terminator <laughs> theme, and the other, the Isengard theme from the Lord of the Rings franchise. And while they are similar, they are Different, mm -hmm. way different. Ba -da -da, da -da -da. No, you need to listen better because that's huh? not exactly what it is. It is. You exactly. know what you're like. It is exactly what you're it is. like. <laughs> the pirate from Black Sails. It's like fruit, fruit, tits, tits. No, that's who you no, are. No, no, that's yeah. you. You're not appreciating the 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 subtleties. You so don't. Wait, and, 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 which and, which music did I just sing? You're just not you, an audio. File. I don't know. I can't. So exactly. Listen. You you're can't tell the difference. You're out tune. I think you sung the Terminator one. And Eric apparently did not think I sung Terminator. He thought I sung the Lord of the Rings one. I didn't which is just why say that. I made no. You said you you said I wasn't, wasn't sure. You said I wasn't. Like you said I wasn't right. But I, that's not how this goes. I don't. What think if I was singing the other one? You can't even tell. No, you were singing Terminator. I you did, can't even you tell. Did, you're right. I, I did think that in that moment. I yeah, don't, I don't think you couldn't tell. That those no, I can tell. Are as close as the Ghostbusters theme and the one that he ripped. It's not. No, no. I mean, it's the same idea. Pressure and stuff like that. It's that one segment which is the same. Whereas, it's not the same. I mean, it's similar. It's the same until you get to the second segment of it. But sure. I mean, the, the, the exact same. Ba -da -da, dun, dun, dun. It's got a different timing. Yeah. The, the difference is when you get to the next one, it was like. Dun, 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 bum, bum, bum. That's the yep. difference. Whereas, like, the, sec different. the first one has the, the same exact cadence, the mm -hmm. same notage, everything. They're the same. They're not the same. They're similar. What are the there are what six are the, notes that are similar. Tell me the difference. They are slightly different. Tell me the difference. Though. I'm not going to tell you shit. Because you can't. Because no. you uh, okay. can't tell me the difference. That's what I'm saying. There we go. I'm glad the argument is settled. Now let's get into this naked Arnold Schwarzenegger this movie right here. sexy, sexy man. There wasn't even a conversation. This isn't. I was just Eric saying this I was wrong. It. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll be backed up. I'll be backed up. People, would, people will say, look at him. Look how good he looks. You know, he was originally uh, planned to be Kyle Reese in this. 
I did not know that. Who was going to be the Terminator then? Well, I mean, I think a much bigger, scarier man than him. I think they changed their mind oh, at yeah. some point. It, there was a lot of uh, traction with Arnold with yeah. a lot. You know, he was doing a lot of action movies and stuff back then. Sure. You know, like yeah. he was getting different. He would pump. You know, I guess the first thing he was in was Pumping Iron, right? Um, he booty. He was in Pumping Iron. He was in. Uh, he was a cowboy. The long something. In something, and he was also Hercules in New York. Yeah, and then just before this, he had been filming uh, Conan, Conan the Barbarian. See, now that we've had a couple, uh, holy crap, that's the Emperor from Mortal Kombat. From what? That's the Emperor from Mortal Kombat, isn't it? Am I right? It's also Bill Paxton. It is, but I know Bill Emperor Paxton. Emperor from Mortal Kombat? Yeah, the, the oh, Emperor no, you're of talking, Outworld. You're talking about Shao Kahn. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, I, not, I think you're right. Yeah, the Emperor from Mortal Kombat, the Emperor. That's totally him, man. There's Paxton there. You know, having seen uh, later Terminator movies and them trying to replicate what Arnold looked like in this movie... He's just too good. He, like he, it's so hard to replicate. They've done like a great job, but there's something about just the glow of a movie made at this time. Yeah, that you just can't. You can't do it. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. And like <laughs> people will talk about Arnold not being able to act, but I think his portrayal of the T eight hundred in Terminator One and Two are some of the best villain pr- or. Some of the best portrayals ever. Yeah, that's I agree. I mean, you know, some people could say, like, well, acting like a robot and not emoting is quote unquote easy. But I don't it think it easy. is. It ain't easy. And you have to have the gift, which is massive body. Just yeah. massive. And he, that face, you know? He also spent two months um, working on guns mm-hmm. so that he could, number one, he spent time so that he could disassemble and reassemble guns blindfolded gotcha so that it was like a machine like he could yeah. just do it with no problem and then the other thing he worked on was being able to shoot with both hands and not flinch not blink not react yeah, not to the guns to at all and, yeah. and hold them properly so he yeah. spent two months doing that and uh i think they actually like um and there was a magazine mm. that usually riffed on people a yeah. lot on like look at these people sure. you know they, they look at like lethal weapon and look yeah. you know Donald uh, Danny Glover didn't hold his gun right when he was shooting and stuff mm-hmm. like you know something along those lines. And this one, they actually like appra- they praised him. Praised him. I, uh, I I do really appreciate like you know I'm watching this movie for the first time in a while, and I think I've only ever seen it maybe once or twice. But already I'm like, hey man, when he came through the time thing, Arnold was fine. He got up. He's perfectly fine. Kyle Reese is down. Well, he, <laughs> you know, like, like are those burns from yeah. what he just did, or is that from in the future where he's been you know doing stuff? Yeah. Like you're getting microwaves, so you get pain. Yeah. Yeah, this process is designed for the machines. Mm-hmm. It's not designed for humans. Woody! And you can't take inorganic material, right? <laughs> that guy is so good as an actor. I love it. I want to know what happened to Michael Bean. Like he is in two of my favorite movies ever, and I love him in both of them. Mm-hmm. This guy? Yeah. But like <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I don't get that. Why'd they stop? And they're like, look at that guy. Get him. And then <laughs> what, what'd he do? He was in the... He's he, naked. He stole he, his pants. Yeah, he, but he, he's a thief. They man. didn't even know that guy was there yet. They didn't know anything. <laughs> they pulled down the alley with the light shining immediately. Like, why? But yeah, I don't know what this guy's in, but he, they use his model for uh, Snake Plissken on the cover, don't they? I was going to mention that when we get to that shot, um, because there is a shot that is taken pretty much for the cover for the United States version of Metal Gear hmm. for the NES. <coughs> I think I know what image you're talking about then. Okay. But yeah, he's in this. He's in Aliens. Oh, well. yeah, he is in Aliens, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. He, he's incredible in both Which those movies. Which is another James Cameron movie, too. Yeah. So. What year? year? I like running up to people and doing that just to fuck with them. You love yelling, what year is it? Yeah. <laughs> what day is it? What year? And then they say it, and I'm like, ah, and run away. Like, <laughs> you picture this, and you picture Robin Williams. Yeah. You know, that's the two things. What year is it? Ah. There's, what, what year was this made? Uh, 1984. There's something about 80s movies. There's a glow. There's a, yeah. a way they don't light it as well as we do now that makes it special. Hmm. It's like a, a visceralness. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You were saying when I said about they were looking at Kyle Reese to be Arnold originally. Hmm. Um, who they were looking at for Terminator originally. Mm-hmm. You guys have heard that, right? I believe so. O.J. Simpson? Yeah. Yes. But, yep. but they were worried he was too, too nice yeah. to be 
<laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay. No one believe he would be a stone cold killer. No, I, I'm, I think allegedly. Bef- I'm pretty sure they had him in a, in like comics back in okay. the '90s yeah. at some point. Right. I don't know if it was before or after the trial though. Nike. But they used like maybe not him, but his likeness. Yeah. But yeah. Man, you what? Know what really dates this movie? This is a Phone retail booth? store, and the prices for these items was like four ninety nine, uh-huh. yeah. three ninety nine for shoes and shirts. I was gonna be like the phone booth in the middle of a convenience store. Oh, that too, yeah. How can you get that kind of stuff? Uh, hipsters like that kind of stuff. Dude, look at this guy. It's just a straight up stuff right there. So it good. lands on a pad behind the car, you know. So good. I mean, it might not even been him. It wouldn't have. No, you it would have been a guy. He just hiding he behind around. that car. Yeah. Just do 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 do. Back when policemen didn't have to lock their cars. Yep. They didn't have to? Dude, oh, he is. They have shotguns in them. He is concealed carrying a shotgun. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's why you get trench coats. Did you ever see uh, Beverly Hills Cop? I did not. No? No. Hmm. Beverly Hills Ninja. No, oh, Beverly Hills Cop. Mm-hmm. We need to watch those movies. Those are some good movies. I've only seen the first one. Those were originally going to be Sylvester Stallone in those. Well, Beverly Hills Ninja has Luke Kang from Mortal Kombat. Yes, it does. <laughs> It, this movie only had a budget of six million dollars. Really? He's not concealing that very well. You can see him running with it and just hanging down there. Six million? Mm-hmm. You know what would be a cool job? The guy that just garden hose wet everything in a night scene. Because mm. they do that. Every movie you see, there's, everything's wet because yeah. it gives these awesome reflections and, and lighting things. I remember when video games could start doing that. Yeah. I want that job. Just shh. Roll camera. You want your job to just be yeah, putting be things great. wet? Yeah. I think it would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Lend a helmet. Yep. Look at that. Moped. What would you call that? A scooter? A scooter. Moped. It's got like an alien head. <laughs> like an ant. <laughs> it looks like an 80s version of the future. Is this a big boy? a big boy, man. Ah, big big buns. buns. Big God. Jeffs. It's big called Big Jeffs. Jeffs. Okay. So it's pretty much Big Boy. Yeah. Maybe they just couldn't call it. What, what's it called now? Freshes? Fris- Frishkas? Something like that? No smoking. Well, you had to make sure you had those signs there because people were just smoking everywhere. <laughs> Dude, these things would take your fingers off. I used one of these back in my uh, when I worked at Little Caesars. Yeah. I mean, ah, oh, so cool. Mm. I love the gray jacket oh yeah it really shows like because again like i am the guy that watched t2 first and i just always imagined that arnold you know sure and seeing this i'm like oh, it's like a variant but no this is the original you know mm-hmm. oh gee and like, i love how he just closes yeah. that not came with the glass flying back in on yeah, him or anything it gets on his face he doesn't flinch how strong your fingers have to be to turn <laughs> turn that ignition usually you have to have like pliers or something to do it you know so on uh, on set to kind of keep in character and everything too, uh-huh. uh, Arnold would avoid uh, Sarah and Kyle on set mm. because the Terminator was trying to kill them. Yeah. So he didn't want to have interactions with sure. them and like be friends or anything yeah, like sure. otherwise. So he avoided them because he's naturally just like a charismatic, like likable guy. Yeah. yeah. He would also oil himself, I believe. <laughs> this little fuck. <laughs> Look at that kid. Who wastes ice cream like that? Is that what that was? Was ice cream? Yeah, it looked like um, Superman ice cream. Eric, you would never do that, would you? No, I'm not a meanie. What? You wouldn't waste the ice cream. We done that. Oh, about? that's the avenue you're going on. <laughs> I'm not a meanie. <laughs> well, here's this character actor. Dude, this guy's in Gremlins. Yeah. Oh yeah. This, this guy's, guy's in, in Demon Knight. <laughs> He's in everything. That's the kind of guy we're like, hey, that guy, and you don't know his name. Because I do not. I love how he's he was the delivery guy in Small Soldiers, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you're right. I love how he's been programmed to, like, know about all these guns and... That probably aren't around anymore. Yeah, yeah. right? From years in the past. He's got a chain on his jacket. The Uzi 9mm. <laughs> Home defense. Yes, you will. Ugh. Oh! Dead. Wrong. Dude, the, uh... 
man, I don't know. I don't know. I, lo- I love, uh, I love like his process with all that, like the way he's going through looking at each gun and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it was a thing I've seen. Like James Cameron did Conan, right? No. Is that right? No. Mm, Just no. Arnold was in Conan. Yeah. yeah, it was a German director. Mm-hmm. So it was a comparison I was reading though that had uh, like in Conan he only had like twenty four lines or something, mm-hmm. and he's like the star of the movie. Yeah, it, it's almost a silent movie. It's it's so weird. But in here he only has like twelve lines, and I feel like he wasted all Hagrid! of them. <laughs> but I feel like he used almost all of his lines right there at the gun shop, you know? Yeah. yeah. But every other line of his in this movie is so, like, memorable and quotable. Mm-hmm. Iconic. Oh, dude, Big Wheels. Oh, my God, I love Big Wheels. And that will come in the next movie. Yep. <laughs> the 18. The big truck. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing there are multiple Sarah Connors. Uh, Otherwise, she would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yep. See, he is hiding his gun really well. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Chi Chi! They'll show in the future that like dogs don't like the the Terminators. Yep. Yeah, it comes later in this movie, right? Yeah. Ooh. I wonder what she's thinking. Nothing right now. Well, yeah, not, she's dead. Just like... It's like, why is this big man breaking into dead? me? Yeah. It's not like he's coming in to rob her. Yeah. He's like, are you Sarah Connor? Remember that no smoking sign you talked about, Rick? <laughs> what can you do? Smoking on airplanes, NASA, everywhere. Mother of two. Now, see, with that, does... My question there is, does he go back and, like, does he kill the kids, too? Because isn't the whole no. idea of this, like, stop mm-hmm. Sarah Connor so that she can't have yeah. John Connor? Well, she hasn't but is she had already? John yet, though. Yeah, he knows that it's before John was born. Okay, so, like, those kids, maybe yeah, they're siblings, but they're, they're not needed. Yeah. They're, they don't matter. Yeah. Here we get the first flashback. You know, a lot of James Cameron's, uh... For an 80s movie, he has gray hair. Yeah. Like, I can yeah. see that here today. A lot of James Cameron's uh, plans on this movie, I think, were originally what he did in two. Mm. I think he was planning for, like, two different Terminators coming to the future, like, with that liquid idea. Mm. But they didn't know how to do the liquid thing. He yeah. thought about, like, you know. Sure. The options you would have had back then would have been, like, claymation and... Stop and, motion. Yeah, stuff like that, where you didn't really have the, the visual effects you can get now. I love that transition. Yeah, it's really it's, great. It's one of my favorites I in any movie I knew it was ever. happening, and I, I, I still, like... Got lost in it yep. and didn't expect the skulls. <laughs> Damn, man, he's totally solid snake right there. <laughs> yeah, there's a moment, uh, like back to his wall, right, kind of thing, like wall to his back. Something special about synth music. Synth music I and mean, these models, you know, mm-hmm. it's a great looking. You know what I always wanted to do was the, where was it? Was it Universal mm. or Disney or somewhere where they had like a ride where you go through and there's like a, mm. like you're watching, it's like a 4D experience really? of like Terminator. I also love the not hot laser. You know, usually mm. lasers or energy blasts have a bright white hot middle, but these ones almost have like a transparency to them. Especially uh-huh. the ones in the back. And like, they're so long. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how many minutes does this spend in the future? But, like, it gives such a great picture. Yeah, it does. Of what the world is like. Ten years, man. Ten years. This is low now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, I don't know, Terminator, what was it? Salvation? Salvation. Like, you go to the future and stuff, it doesn't have the same feel, really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's it's destroyed, and there's some definitely scary stuff and whatnot, but... But it's too... Jeez. It's too explodes. advanced. It's too good looking. Like there's something about like the metal and stiffness of these machines, you know, mm-hmm. that just I don't know. They give you a feel. Go. Oh. Well, and they're not like sleek or designed with like aesthetics in mind, yeah. which is something a human would appreciate. They're just designed for a function. Yeah. 
Like these things have lights on the front. They have some kind of flying mechanisms on the sides there, and they have lasers on the back. Yeah, they got like turbines on the side. Mm, that guy's gonna be dead. You see him jumping around back there? Oh yeah. no! Yeah, well, he's definitely dead, dead now. He's a dead guy now. Yeah. Dude, I would not drive anywhere in this world. I feel like, you know. Look at fire. Yeah, just put in front of the lens there. That's probably the burns on his back. Maybe. Could be. Even if the burns aren't from the uh, the transportation, like the way he was like, like yeah, getting sick and it, stuff. You know? They describe it, I think, in one of the movies as like a, a microwave kind of yeah. feeling. Yeah. I think it's in this one. So like it definitely hurts, but you know, Terminators don't fucking, they don't yeah. care. Yeah, he talks about it in this movie. I like how in the future, all the cars are like 80s cars. They're yeah, even, you know? Yeah. <laughs> They only had six million. I know. Well, I mean, and they can't tell what it would look like, you know. Back to the Future tried. Yeah, true. In in two. Blade Runner. And um, Minority Report too. See, this is your like traditional like best friend girl who still ends up getting killed, kind of. Mm. You know what I mean? Like sure. she's got that look of like, dude, that Jetson shirt is awesome. It's pretty good. <laughs> I love it how she realizes. Fucking mad. But yeah, I mean, this is such a slasher movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad decisions, Matt. Yeah, you know, you got that you got that girlfriend of hers who has a boyfriend. Yeah. Later on, they hook up and whatnot. You know, it definitely goes into that. Well, yeah, and slasher and idea. Her name's Ginger, but she's not a redhead. Like the main I know. character. I hate that. <laughs> What's the point? I like how he just like let's yeah. try this again, round two. <laughs> but yeah, just like in Halloween, like the main character is the one that doesn't have a date or yeah. a boyfriend. I mean, we already had the you know the the slasher guy. Got out, got out from wherever he came from, you know, yeah. the grave or whatever it is. He went to some place, killed a guy for the weapon he wants to use. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the yep. first part that we had. And then he's taken a victim. And he's hunting a particular woman for reasons as of now we don't know. Mm -hmm. well, in the back, there's it says LAPD, but it's in, the plaque is in the shape of a pig. What? Yeah. <laughs> Behind this guy. I don't know if they'll show it again. I feel like it's Lance Henderson is so underrated. Mm. Right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. LAPD. You well, would notice the pig. That's a little tongue in cheek. Well, because they just called them pigs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Look 80s. At it. Look at that. It hair. is. Uh, I love it. I can, I, I, I'm into it. Picture of my mom for her prom with hair like I'm that. I'm not into that. No. <laughs> not, not, not your mom. No. No offense. I think some of these looks could look good nowadays, you know? Go back and, I mean, 80s comes back all the time. Bell bottoms and all that junk. I mean, there's just a universal truth to sexiness. Sarah is almost in like a poodle skirt, though, kind of outfit, right? Like a, a grease? Mm. Mm. No? Not a poodle skirt. No, but. She just but has that sweater. Just that kind of. That sweater top that she's got. It's definitely different than what her friend has. That's uh, James Cameron. Oh, on the phone? Yeah, the one who's calling off the date. That's funny. They end up getting married later on, though. Mm -hmm. Linda Hamilton and James Cameron. I think they got divorced, too, but they mm -hmm. did get married. It's just ironic that it's his voice. Mm. Pugsy bites her. <laughs> <laughs> <He's gonna say>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those mom jeans. <coughs> That's something I, I don't need to come back. Mom jeans? Oh, there's mom mean? jeans these days. They just they look better. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Fucking Matt is still just raging. <laughs> and then I'll oh, take your pants on. <laughs> He's out there. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised he just doesn't have a recording of him saying it. Yeah. So you just play it. I just love that he does that. He goes on and he's like, did you say I'm so sorry? Where's Ginger? Okay, and then round two. Let me do yeah, this again. I'm gonna right back into it. Sock. I'm gonna lick your belly button. It's like he's a voice actor giving another take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me try this again. Oh, parking garages. Dude, I love the music. There's a lot of parking garages in the '80s too. I feel like more than now. 
There's something about that. Sorry. No, it's a good, it's okay. The parking garage is great. It just like her looking around it, and there's something about that like that drum beat, you know, mm. like a like, heartbeat. It's like a heartbeat sound or footstep sound or you know something along those lines. Where it's just like just enough music to. And then whenever set you see tension. the guy from the future, you get the synth. Yeah, yeah. But what's in? I don't know. As of right now, too, like had you not seen it, all you know is so far two th- people have come from the future. Yeah. And they both have grabbed a Sarah Connor like yep. notebook thing. So and one of them killed a Sarah Connor, and the other one maybe is, is on that, the same mission. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I like it sets up some mystery and stuff, and you don't know what's going on. And it even does it with the second one when you get into it, you know? You think the same idea when you first start off. Well, and usually, like, the leading man is the handsomest guy in the movie. And, like. Well, which one's the handsomest guy in the movie, Rick? <sighs> Kyle Reese is damn handsome. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But Arnold Schwarzenegger is just such a specimen. He's the muscles. He's, he's got one in his other hand. <laughs> he's smoking one. Yeah. So it's, funny. It's just, he's so stressed. He's not thinking. You know. Hello there. Shane had something like that on his voicemail it forever. Was, it was old. Th- even then, <laughs> I've, used, I've used that before. She's Look listening to music. Imagine, shut the fuck up. I don't want to. I'm looking at her nipple. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> it's better than the Bay Harbor Butcher. I like the Bay Harbor Butcher. It's a fun, fun, it's a fun thing to say. Bay Harbor Butcher. I prefer Bay Oak Mutinies. Mm. Yeah, it's a good plan. <laughs> so we didn't see the second murder huh oh man that pizza though uh, this is such a great ticking clock this idea of sarah connor and like going through the phone book yep what a clever idea can you imagine if that happened to you like i mean rick martin i could see it like well yeah there's a lot of them you yeah. know but like there's three in my family there's not many eric whiteley's sure not many if I feel like, yeah, two Eric Whiteley's killed today, <laughs> you know, two hours apart. And it's like two hours later, I'm like, uh. <laughs> in, see the, in like the tri-state area. Or yeah. yeah. And so the thing about us too, like there's not a lot in our area, you know, yeah. like there are many Aaron Elliott's. Yes. But there's not a lot in our, like yeah. in Marietta, you know. The thing about my name is that y- there are Eric Whiteley's out there, but I think, and this is not me trying to blow myself. Like, I think I'm the most famous Eric Whiteley now, but that's only because there are not many Eric Whiteley's, not because... Blind Wave has elevated me to anything. I think there's know? a slightly more famous Ricky Martin. Uh, I don't know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that an out of order sign? Was that thing taped there? Yeah. Well, that guy back there, he's like, oh, God damn it, man. She, he's just checking her out. He yep. is. What up, baby? He doesn't drive a Porsche, though. You need a ride? Hey. Hello there. I like the mom jeans. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan would be the best pickup artist. Mm. Hello there. Oh. Don't be obvious. Don't be obvious. <laughs> and like you know, the clothes he's wearing, the pants. Yeah. He would be creepy as fuck to have he's you like, following. Well, that's probably the killer. Well, especially when you're all <laughs> like, you know, worried that there's a killer after yeah. Sarah Connors. You know. Oh, I thought, it was, baby. I thought it was everybody's working for, but it's not. Weekend. Tech noir. Yeah. This club has inspired a lot of. Come on, I just want to use your phone. Someone's trying to kill me. <laughs> just tell him that. Four fifty cover charge. That's a, that seems high even today, doesn't it? Really? For a cover charge? No. I feel like a lot of cover... Like a club? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't go to clubs. Around here, I yeah, feel like either. most cover charges are like five bucks. No, around here, they beg you to come in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you have a cover charge, like, sure. next door, they have bands and stuff, I think his cover charge is five bucks. Yeah. You know? This is the 80s. 450 is crazy. But... But she's in, like, New York, right? I guess. Something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know what are. the cover charge of New York is today. This is what screws her over right here. He would have thought he killed Sarah Connor and moved on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every Sarah Connor in the tri-state area is calling him. 
my name's Sarah Connolly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the cop left. But no, because she calls here and leaves a message, you know? Like, he goes in, and he just kills this woman at Sarah Connor's address. He would have just assumed so, I think, you know? Moved yeah. on, left. Probably, because he doesn't have a picture or anything. <coughs> Dude, yeah, Matt is done. He's wearing her She's, socks. She has so much energy. Look at her legs. Look at her legs. They're just so shiny in the dark. They're so shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so good. But no, this uh, this is very, to me, horror movie right oh, here. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, they just banged. That's number one rule. Yep. You don't bang in horror movies, you know? Because then you get fucked. Yeah. You get, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> then there's also the idea of, like, the music. Dude, like, post-sex sandwich. Oh. What? Put, put the celery away. Jesus, lady. How about a dip? Ah! <laughs> the, the fake out. There's the fake out. <laughs> yeah, you got to have the sandwich afterwards. There's nothing worse than sex on a full stomach. Oh, nice. Yeah. The, 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 the yeah, pre- during sex sandwich. Yeah, pre-sex, you want to go light like some soup or something. What? Afterwards, soup. Whatever you want. He punched. Oh, my God. I would bust that guy up as soon as I could. <laughs> I wouldn't warn him. Now, if it was Arnold Schwarzenegger that came in, I'd be like, just, all right, just bust me up. Give, give me. Oh. Talk about shiny legs. But see, like, here's the other thing, too. You know, the, the unaware, some, you know, someone's getting killed in the next room kind of thing. Jesus, man, look at him. Yeah. Look at that sandwich. Like a glass of milk. What the hell is on that? God bless America. Oh. Ah, oh, that fucking sandwich. It's a good reaction from her. Now he's got a gun. Where was his gun a second ago? <laughs> Run. Oh, he, probably, he probably didn't want to scare her. Listen to this music. That's totally horror. Yeah, right? I mean, it might as well have been going. But if you were like a. Like a person, uh-huh. and you were sent back to kill Sarah Connor. Oh, yeah. Like, uh-huh. it'd be rough. Look at that. No, f- look at him. Just <laughs> <laughs> but right here, he was like, "Good, I've killed her." Well, that's how steady and precise the laser pointer was on the phone. Mm-hmm. He's a machine. Yep. See, mm-hmm. now he knows where she is. He knows it's a Sarah Connery didn't kill. He's just got to be like, Ooh. whoopsie. It's like, even though I've seen Arnold in a hundred movies, when I see him in this and in the second one, I feel like it's a robot with Arnold's skin. I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I've seen his fake head so much, like, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> made, you know, I just, I buy it. Oh, he knows. I've been there. I go to Techno. Cover charge 450, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for cops, though. 20 bucks. In a hot minute. Everything was hotter in the 80s. Yo, mama. Look at that mustache of that guy walking by. Oh, yeah. Both both of my dads wore their 80s mustaches proudly into the 2000s. Yeah. One of them still has it. Dude, there's something about, like, uh, especially he, today, when we, when we, there's a lot of 80s stuff now, you know, yeah. like, taking place in the 80s, but they just, they don't get the style right. Because they still try to make you look... Look yeah, him. you're still a good-looking guy, just, you know. But, like, that guy, that bouncer with, yeah. the, with the hair and the mustache, you can't do that today. You can't. They just don't make them. You can't walk around like that. They don't that. have the same hair products. They don't make them. Yeah, they, don't have the same, <laughs> they don't have the same mustache trimmers, you know? It's just different. Canada Dry. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. And he knows what she looks like too now. Yep. Oh, 
Like now, if this happens, you're really fucked. Someone can just Google your ass and find a right? picture of you. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they look for us to be like, fucking YouTube blind wave, <laughs> kill these fucks, all five, you know? <laughs> yeah. I love slow-mo walking through dancing people. Look at that tie. The red sun. I love Japanese the outfits. Symbols. The earrings, the hair. Look at that guy. A little tough in the back. Look at those tables. It's just like a grate. Yeah, it's like what you see on the street. Uh, Boom, bitch. Oh. Get out of the way. Get down. Get the fuck out of the this way. This is so good. Look at his face. I love how our commentary is like, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I want to watch this for the first time, man. Like being like, I just got shot, though. Yeah. Because we don't know. We don't know like what no. the machine. I mean, we know that there's machine stuff. The first time you watch this, you have no idea what's really going on, you know? Yeah, it's, it's just like Michael Myers, you know? Yeah. Like he takes a hit, but he keeps on coming. Like, Jesus, why isn't that guy dead? He's evil. I lose it. Where'd he go? Oh. Just. Uh, that could be him. That could be them. That could be them. <laughs> <laughs> he holds it so steady. Yeah. His muscles, man. Like a dead body. Like a dead body's that heavy. I mean, I've never they're, messed with one. They're heavy. <laughs> Have you tried picking up one of your kids when they don't want to, too? <laughs> Yeah, I just pick him up. <laughs> I guess it's like that, but like 200 pounds, huh? Yeah. Say it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was... I don't know why. I remember being a kid, and I always thought that was Arnold that said that, you know? Yeah. I remember that being well, in... Well, it's because uh, in T2, that's yeah. what he says. Yeah, he says it in T2. Yeah, but it originates from here, you I know? know? I know. <laughs> you don't know it. I, I guess that's true. I just watched T2 yeah. first, Because, yeah, it's it's the first thing he says to Sarah and, Connor. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like I, well, I wasn't. I would have I loved know. to You're have seen to this movie first and and then yeah. the second one. I legit like you know I've talked about it before, but if we could develop some kind of machine that would like I could like erase, plug it uh, in, uh, erase okay. my memory of things, do it in the proper specific order, specific things. Yeah. yeah, do it in the proper order, get that the the new memories, and then maybe upload my old memories too, so I have both experiences. Because I don't want to invalidate my own experience. Yeah, I don't want. I would. I'd be okay if I if I could lose my original way of looking at Terminator and just yeah. have. Have the correct way, the way it came out, you know? Yeah. And just that'd be good. erase everything three and after all together. Yeah. Dude, reaction well, channels no, would be know. like crazy. <laughs> you could do it would be so good. If we three could do has that. its moments. It's not it's not the best, but it got too funny. Yeah, and a lot of At a certain point, like that. Arnold became a character versus like acting sometimes, you know? Yeah. In those movies. Just these first two are so They're good. They're so good. I mean, this movie is so good, and T2 is so good. That is totally a dub. I got yeah. a hit-and-run felony. You got more than that, buddy. You no eyebrows. <laughs> uh, he just loses pieces of himself as he goes Is he on. wearing a wig now? I don't know. No. <laughs> His, like, fumbling around was so, like... What's brilliant, too, is that he never breathes. You never see him like heavy breathing. Yeah, you mean? Yeah. It's always just he's always calm natured. Face. Burn that rubber, man! Woo. Mmm. Jeez, man. Almost as good as the chase scene in The Rock. You said uh, six million, right? Six million. You notice they don't have the money to pay the dude to wet all these surfaces. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Because in the big movies, they spend like two hours wetting the surface before they shoot <laughs> this stuff. Poor Kyle. Poor Sarah. Well, I just mean like... <laughs> See, I wonder what she's thinking right now. Yeah. You know, like that guy just pointed a gun at her face. This guy shot that guy who was pointing a gun at her. Uh, I'd go with this guy who, like she's doing. Who got up and is now chasing us again. And now we're on the sidewalk. There's nothing over there. Get on the street. Like, she saw that guy get shot at least twice with a shotgun, right? Although, the the um, the um bulletproof vests in the 80s were pretty potent. Much more than today. Yeah, true. Did 
Now I can use a freaking cops. That's dubbed. <laughs> so it's always so weird when you have like Arnold or when you get to like the, the, um, what is the guy, Robert, whatever, in the second one? Patrick. Whenever they or do Patrick, yeah. whenever they do their different, like, dub things, and yeah. it's always their vo- – you see their face talking yeah. in different yeah. Yeah. voices. Model 101. Where will we get T-800 from? 101 and then – I don't know. Okay. Maybe he's not the T-800. I've always said T-800. Well, he, he's definitely a T-800 in the yeah. next one. I'm going to say he's a T-100 in this. 800. Right? They said model 101. Yeah. But he's a T-800 in the second movie, at least. Because there's a T-1000 in the second movie. Yeah. That's chasing them. Well, it could be like a model and then a make. I could look this up. You know? Well, is he upgrading the second movie, though? I don't think so. I think he's the same as this. Like, does he have the whole chip... And everything that they have in the second one. Because you know all that stuff that they do and change and they he alters them. In the um, director's cut. Yeah. Like, is that all stuff that's new in the series? It just says, the, series? the Terminator, also known as Cyberdyne System Model 101 or the T-800, is a fictional character. So it's both. So it must be like the make is the T-800 yeah. and the model is Model 101. And the 101 must refer to, like, what he looks yeah. like as far as, like, the skin on him. Maybe the T-800 is the robot type. This is saying in the first two films, he goes by the Model 101. Uh, in the third film, he is T-101. And then in later films, he's the T-800. Hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe they changed the model after the future was changed. Maybe. I feel like I remember the, <laughs> T- the T-100 and the T-800 yeah, both too. being things. Here we go, the 600 series. They got dicks, you think? They have what? You think they have dicks? Yeah, didn't you see it in the shadows? It's very flopping around? hard to spot. In the very beginning, you can see it if you kind of look. There's an outline. Yeah. And in the second one, the, in the, shadows, the one pause? waitress like looks down at it. Mm. Yeah. He's impressed. Yeah, there's okay. a dick there. All right. there's, they don't have to have a dick. They need one Do they? to seem real. I guess. The question is, like, if they are trying to blend in and they have sex, what happens if when they're... Does it work? Do, do they finish? Yeah. Maybe that's T-1000. That's, yeah, that's what they did. They just send, send some of that liquid metal. <laughs> like, what could you say to not seem crazy? Um, th- th- there's nothing. And you can't bring proof with you either. No. Uh, I would have researched as much as I could. Have John Connor say, like, what's something that only you would know? Yeah, but she doesn't even have a kid yet. Yeah. Like, how would that? Something about, something about your, your family or something. I mean, that's a thing. Like, if you have the future, some kind of robot thing, aliens, like, what do you say to get someone to believe you when it's so, like, <laughs> skeptical of a, you know, concept or something? Yeah. Unbelievable of, of one, yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't want. Will not stop until you are dead. Ever. You think of watching and shooting him. Man, taking his eyebrows off really helped with selling the inhuman look. Mm-hmm. I don't remember realizing that until now. Yeah. Blu-ray, baby. Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it just, like Rick said, too, like the the slowly, like, unhuman nature of him as it keeps going, you know, the eye and the face mm-hmm. and the hand and, you know, the, all the things that keep happening. The pretense just falls away. There's a story where, like, at one point, he, uh, he like, took a break. Like, there was a, a break in filming. So he went into town to get a coffee. Who did? Arnold? Arnold did. Mm. And he forgot that he was still in makeup, so he had, like, no eye. Yeah. His, his, he was burned. His he had jaw a, his was jaw missing. was there and yeah. stuff. It's like... I can't imagine having something like that occur. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? That's the time in which I walk up to somebody and go, what year is it? <laughs> like, what? 
You know, no one has any idea what's going on. They just see this guy. <laughs> what the hell? Here, have a coffee. <coughs> There's some, like, biblical overtones in this mm-hmm. about, like, Sarah Connor being the Virgin Mary, yeah. like the mother of the Savior, and then Reese being, like, some sort of archangel, like Gabriel or something, to deliver the message that yeah. she's going to... But be this important figure. Gabriel didn't bang Mary. True. There's so much. That's the Jesus one thing. didn't send him to. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing that's so crazy is like you get to the point of like, okay, so there's no kid. Well, there will be a kid, but you got to send this guy yep. back. Well, who yeah. sends you back? Your kid sends me back. Yep. And then I conceive your kid. And because like, the kid knows, but he doesn't know. Now, didn't, is it it's, Terminator Salvation that has Kyle Reese in it too? Yes. Yeah. I, I actually really like that part of the movie. Like uh, being able to see him and John. He was Nolan, younger, you know? wasn't he? I haven't seen it. Yeah, he was I don't younger. remember. I feel like he was. Yeah, but it was. Um, it was obviously he was younger than this because he's got to go back in time later. Like yeah. obviously, Reese and, and John Connor had ha- they've had a relationship, but John Connor had, like he knows that's his dad, but he mm-hmm. can't tell him. You know, it's a great situation to be in. Uh, as a storyteller, I should say. <laughs> sure, it's a great situation to be in. <laughs> Here's my dad, but I can't tell him he's my dad. Yeah. How many people get that situation? Uh, at least one other. Probably happens at least. It's like he has to use human like ingenuity and cleverness mm-hmm. to combat the same situations that the Terminator goes through with just brute strength. Yeah. With ease, you know. So, uh, I mean, this movie is definitely an example of the bootstrap paradox. Then, mm. right? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, what? How, how does your son send your dad back to time yeah. to conceive himself, you know? Where's, like, where's the, the ins- beginning where's of that? Where's the inception of that loop? Yeah, A circle has no beginning, so how does it start? In the conception. I know I know what you said, but I thought you said the C word for a second. I was like, Jesus, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? But that's, that was good. Some of them were kept alive for work. It's another Harry Ellison theme in a lot of his works of AI taking their revenge against yeah. the men that created them. They view them as, you know what? It, it's kind of like Matrix, you know? They viewed humans as like a, it, like a what's his name? The Agent Smith, right? Agent Smith. He talks about how they're like a virus, you right, know? Yeah. They always kept wanting and taking and all this different stuff. And Well, it's also a commentary on the destruction of, of <coughs> humanity in general, like, like in the Matrix and even in this, like... The machine is smarter than us, knows that we're going to mess things up. Mm-hmm. We just got to get rid of them. Yeah. You know? I think the world will be destroyed if humans stay going the course of going. You yeah. Know? That's the idea of, like, uh, when it comes to AI, like, a real-world concern that a lot of people, a lot of futurists have is the singularity in which we create an AI that is actually smarter than us. Mm-hmm. Because as soon as that happens, that AI that's smarter than us can figure out a way to create a better AI than we created. And then that AI can figure out a better way because it's smarter than the one previously, and you had to, you just have an infinite amount of of AIs that could be, you know, better constructed. Yep. It's a really interesting concept. Oh, uh, this is where John Wick got that idea from. <laughs> like walking in the. <laughs> yeah, the walking crowd shot. Yeah. Remember that? In the this is the same concept. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of in Metal Gear Solid at the end when you're fighting against a oh, uh, liquid. It, it, and you're driving yeah, and, and shooting you're driving. while you're driving. Yeah. yeah. I love that music. Sped speed, up. Speed you like that music right, right there? This music here? Yeah. It's got like a little horror in it, but it's also got that synthy sound sure. of like, you know, the future and like action and a little suspense in there. I like it. You don't like it, I guess, huh? I don't love it. Like, I, I've, lo- like I've liked a lot of the songs so far, but this one, I don't know. It, it is 80s, though. Mm-hmm. I'm it's not going to sit here in 2019 and say, like, you should have done something differently, James Cameron. I'm pretty sure this is also in the second movie, too. This music? Yeah. Or, might be. or at least a take on this song. No, 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 I mean, a lot no, of the no, same no, music no, is. No, 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 no. Where was this filmed at? I don't know. Los Angeles? Yeah, they did say LAPD. I mean, the second one's definitely in LA. I mean, I know this one takes place over in LA. He looks so creepy with no eyebrows, <laughs> man. He's not even looking at this road. He's not even driving. No, what do you do? What do you do? 
Oh, park. Oh. Does that work? I never tried. The poor car. I never tried to slam my car into park while driving at a yeah. <laughs> you know sixty miles an hour. What would that do? Oh, and it's fucked it up. That's what it did. Yeah. Yep. Not getting out of there. They'll kill you. See, and then we're going to get into another part here that we're talking about, like, the difference of Reese going to the police station, trying to handle things the way he needs to. And then when the Terminator gets there, he's just like, yeah. all right, here's how I'm going to handle I'll it, you know? Back. <laughs> he, he Michael Myers that shit. Yep. And there's a horror movie right <laughs> you know? <laughs> Where is he? Dude, this cop's gone. Like, how did that guy walk away? They haven't invented airbags yet. <laughs> yeah, right? Yo, mama. Don't we see... Yeah, this is him. The doctor now, right? Mm -hmm. The psychiatrist. We see him uh, in the second one. Mm -hmm. Right? He's yeah, the only recurring the, character, with right? With the needle in his neck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Sarah. We see... Yeah, yeah. Well, Sarah. sure. And Arnold... Well, well, he's not the same. <laughs> Doesn't quite count. I, I guess technically John is in her belly. Mm. By the end, yeah. By the end. Yeah, because he's here and he leaves just before the Arnold gets here. Look, he just fucking yawned and didn't care. But see, here's the thing we were talking about before, too. Like, trying to tell somebody what the truth is. Yeah. yeah. When you have people who are skeptical or it's an unbelievable situation yeah, and, I mean, you know, all that. Like, you have no you, proof. Yeah. No, that's the thing. Like, extraordinary claims requiring <clears throat> that extraordinary evidence, mm -hmm. you know? Like, if you say, like, hey, I have a dog at home and his name is Frank. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, but if, like, I got a dragon at home and his name is Frank, I'm not going to believe you as much well, as the dog. Well, if you, know? you have, But like you don't need the proof because of the dog, just because it's yeah, not then, incredible? Well, the dog, it's not that incredible, so it doesn't require that extraordinary yeah. evidence. If you had, like, 10 years, like, he could maybe predict all the ma major events yeah. that are going to happen yeah. in those 10 years' time. But, like, he needs to do it now. Oh, this is so great. Yeah, and it's done. For being in the 80s, I think it's done yeah. very well, you know? The scene where he repairs himself. Yeah, this whole segment here, like, looks ah, yeah, really good. You know, like look at like look at that. So you see how they're doing? It's so like, good. Is the hand going behind the table and then it's connected to the prosthetic? Is that yep. what's happening there? I, yeah, I think it's. I mean, the arm is definitely a prosthetic to it. The arm that he's is, cutting I think, into. I think the hand is. I think his real arm is just. I think it's doing like, like down it's under doing the this. table. Yeah. And then he's connected. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't in the mic. That's a fake hand there. <laughs> so good looking. Yeah, that, that is not a real hand. No. Before it was. Right? I love that. They like, gotta fix his <laughs> fucking <laughs> finger. Did you ever have that uh, awesome toy that was like a robot hand that you could put you over could your put hand? Your fingers yeah, in? I did. Oh, I've played Terminator so much with that thing. I had one, but it wasn't the Terminator arm. It was just one of those kind well, of yeah, things. Yeah, I didn't. Ha it wasn't Terminator branded. I'm just saying, like I. Gotcha. That. I think for T2 yeah. they made the, that. Really? Uh, they made one that is a Terminator one, I think. We get one of those. When I was a kid, it was completely inappropriate, but I had a T2. I had T2 action figures from like when they came out that year, you mm -hmm. know. And I was just like, yeah, I'm Arnold. I'm gonna kill you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my arm! Fuck. I guess this psychiatrist dies a little too early before he might realize it, but like. All this stuff that Reese is talking about happens in the next movie. Yeah. Yep. Like all these things about Cyberdyne and everything else. Yeah. Because I don't think Cyberdyne exists right now in this world. Or maybe no. it does. Uh, the, does it? The what? I'm not sure. Like, does Cyberdyne exist right now in this world? Or, um, like, in five years when isn't it's founded? It, isn't Miles. It, isn't Miles in, in, like, its early infancy of, like, yeah. making it what it is? Yeah. I think. Because I, you know, if this guy saw a headline of like, you know, cyberized industry working on robotics. Yeah. In like five years, he would be freaked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. It's a hell of a thing for Reese to do this because he knows there's no going back. Yeah. And he knows there's probably no winning because yeah. he, he's got no weapons capable of fighting this thing. Well, the one thing he knows is that this is what he has to do. 
and it's only him. That's the worst thing about it. Oh, this part. Yeah. Like, pretty soon here we get to the actual fake Arnold face, you know? Yeah. Which, it's okay. It's great for where, you know, the... Right this there. This right here? Yeah, just a little too... Kind of looks like a Michael Myers, like... Yeah. Mask a little bit, you know? But cutting back and forth, I mean, they're breaking 180 degree rules, which are already makes it a little, like, you know, but... Ugh. This is oh. effective, though. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, well, eyeball, man. Hmm. So, like, how much of this? Like, is there a real person there wearing a mask, or yeah, is it all a robotic contraption? Right. It has to it's be not all moving correctly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The 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 first shot there, they cut. They didn't need to have it be this, but it's effective. They, they had to do this, you know? Yeah. It's just like there's no movement. Like, you know, the human face has thousands of, like, small, small movements, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's, that's why it's so hard to get away from that uncanny valley. But, I mean, of the movie so far, I don't know how far we're into it, that's the first time I'm like, eh. It's the first thing you don't buy. Yeah. The, uh, the, the second thing I don't buy is Terminator's looking, making sure he looks good. And checks his hair. <laughs> I love that. Well, he's got to blend in. Yeah, he's got to make sure like his metal scalp isn't showing. <laughs> After all the shotgun shrapnel he has in him. You know this this part here is such a great way of of you know giving more information without having the kind of like show don't tell thing. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guy's such a slimy son of a bitch. <clears throat> he is slimy. In the real world, he would be right. Oh yeah. But you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like skeptics are almost never in a movie but ever it, it, made to be the good guy. It's always like, you fucker, don't believe in Santa, and now you ruin the <laughs> Christmas movie. What do you mean you know? it's right though? It's a dick move to yeah, write a book yeah. about, you know. Yeah, true. True. And like try to profit off from it. If anything, it's this guy's story. He should get, yeah, sure, some of the money. I mean, he just he's seeing such a compelling performance delusion is what he's thinking. You know, like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. This is so rare. Yeah, he's just watching it. They're trying to explain it all away. Yeah. Fucking PCP. <laughs> <laughs> he always has some stories when he's telling that guy, I was like, hey, just shut up. What about him crashing at 60 miles an hour into a wall and then disappearing? BCP, man. Mirrors. <laughs> Smoke. Yeah, magnets. People use mirrors all the time. I saw Deeper Copperfield. Well, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you see this mirror right here? Yeah. Are they all wearing those vests? Because they're going to need them. Mm-hmm. See, this is the only reason this guy shows up in the next movie. Yep. It was funny. You just went, and then he went, <laughs> <laughs> and avoided death. <laughs> yeah. Skin of his teeth. See, from a police officer standpoint, if someone's hunting for this woman, you won't want to say that she's. You feel there. like you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't be like, yeah, she's here, just wait. You feel like it'd this be like. This guy is two weeks away from his pension. I mean, he, yeah, he's just a desk clerk. <laughs> like, he might not even know. There it is. 
Changed everything that line. Everything. Everything. Yep. I'm changed. I'm a different person. I wouldn't probably wouldn't be alive if that didn't happen. I think he said the line wrong too. I'll what? be back. I think the line's supposed to be "I'll come back" mm. or something. He just said "I'll be back." Yeah. Oh, you mean in the script? Yeah, I think the script right, like what, like James Cameron okay. or whatever wrote it to be. Was they got it, got it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Could you? I'll come back. Yeah. Like, it doesn't sound nearly the script. It's like you know, one second, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uno momento. I mean, mm. Arnold just his whole life has been able to just go up to a crowd and be like, "I'll be back," and everybody fucking cheers. Yeah. <laughs> That guy's on the phone. What are these guys doing? Getting mowed down. I noticed that they're definitely, they're cutting, not right, not right there, but like a, a lot of these shots, they're cutting as he shoots and they don't see any recoil sure. because they, they don't get to see it, you know? But obviously some shots we're seeing it. Like right there, that's brass great. Yep. That's the first time we see his vision, right? Yep. Well, I think we've had a red vision before, it's but heavy. not like that. Hard to right? see. I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe that is the first time. Uh, I think so. I think it's the first time in this movie. Oh, oh man, man, that guy. That's what a what a hell of an effect. God damn. Damn right. CG blood nowadays. Right? Now we're dark. Back in the horror, the scary. Now you want the red vision. Dude, get the guy who knows the future <laughs> people. No, let him out. <laughs> Watch him kick your ass. Dude, with his hands tied behind his I back. I want one guy to come back here like, you were right. I'm sorry for doubting and laughing. <laughs> Before they died. Uh, he gets to have sex with Linda Hamilton. True. I guess. That's his reward. I don't know which one I'd rather have. <laughs> I mean, this is straight up horror stuff, man. The way it's lit... Between Linda and Ripley, like their character growth from the first to the second movies. Oh, yeah. Some of the best ever. Oh, yeah. Dude, Linda Hamilton kills it in T2. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just doing pull ups. I'm like, this chick is amazing. <laughs> she's preparing for the apocalypse. She's yeah, going to raise John this, Connor. She's got the shoulders. She knows what the truth is, but no one would believe her, you know? Yep. That fucking doctor takes her to the yeah. thing, you know? It's, it's Jesus. Bitch. The way she handles a nightstick. Mm -hmm. Oh no, your mama. Shut up. Fucking. Hey! Shit. Now you die. If you know he's wearing a vest, shoot him in the shoot head. Shoot him in the face. That was a chance we were willing to take. <laughs> right? See, and then here we go again. I love, I love this. <clears throat> the fake out. Like he wouldn't be doing that. He just punched the door down. Oh, it is locked. I go elsewhere. Shh, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> yeah, the, she, the, he really needs to give her a code name. Jane. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, baby. I don't know, something. Maybe it's just the, <clears throat> the change in weather and stuff. I've been getting goosebumps a lot easier lately. I got my hair yesterday, and I just got goosebumps again. Like, it was like, Sarah, please. See, look, this is what I love. Uh, this is what I was talking believes. about. There was another show recently where, like, there was gunshots and there was yeah. no holes in the shirt. Look at it. There's at least a hole in the there's shirt. There, you know? That's what I want. Because the man was wearing an explosive device filled with blood. Squibs. <laughs> and that mean, probably literally blew a hole in his shirt. Yeah. Squibs. And you had to, uh, you had to have your, you had to, like, you can't have your arms in front of you yeah. when you do it. Because you can pull your arm Yeah, off. it'll fuck you up. They had to have your arms behind you. That's why a lot of people that take, Get uh, shot. Get go, shot. Oh. They have their guns up like this. Like, ah, oh, boy. You know? <laughs> Got to be real careful with those things. Well, it's a little piece of gunpowder with blood in it. And little mini squibs. Yeah. Squibs are great, though. Yeah. Yeah. Need oh, more. no. It's always better. Need more squibs. More squibs. There's not enough squibs nowadays. Dude, when Star Wars had squibs, now that people just fall over, but like they would just have these little explosions on the Stormtrooper chest, you mm -hmm. know? It's so great. Everyone who told him was crazy, all dead. It's just, I better believe this guy. <laughs> he seems to yeah. know what he's doing. Dude, my childhood is littered with images of women with that hair and the, like, tinted glasses. You ever see those glasses that, like, start out, like, dark and then they fade in? You ever see those? <laughs> sure. I like, guess. Like, that hair and those glasses are, is, like, my childhood. I can just, I don't know, it takes me back.
He's got to not smell very good. I mean, I'm sure neither of them do, you know? Take your jacket off, yo. Here's the microwave conversation, I think, mm. right? Pretty sure he compares it to a microwave. Dude, time travel would be, especially this way. There's so many different ways of time travel. Mm. I feel like this one might be my least, well, like the, my least wanted one. It's you know? one way. It hurts. <laughs> you got to be naked. Yeah. You're right. You have to arrive somewhere naked and afraid. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I take my clothes off. <laughs> if you had to pick one way for time travel, which one would you pick? The Flash. The DeLorean? I might want the DeLorean. Well, I also get superpowers from the Flash. No, you don't get to pick the superpowers. You can only use your power when you go back in time. That's all you get. That's still pretty good. I mean, it just could go back in time. Yeah, but the DeLorean has like the 88 miles an hour. What if it gets destroyed, you know? You're stuck. The Flash is your, the Flash. If yeah, you're alive, you can still do it. What if you die? Well, then you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pretty bad, but... Like uh, H.G. Wells is the time machine is the worst. Yeah. Because there's no like setting a date. You just have to like pull the, le the lever. You just hope you go to a good time. Yeah. Really? <laughs> what about uh? uh yeah. You, like you pull the lever one way and it starts just going and you see flashes and then you stop it at some point and maybe it was 50 years or maybe you waited a second too long and it was 5,000. Jesus. Oh, uh, you know, the flash is good, but I like Hero from Heroes too. He probably it's has the best. That's his power. Yeah. He's a master of time and space. He can teleport and go. You down. don't get to teleport. You just get the Come time on, travel. Man. No, you just get time travel. You're like, which is the best? Which would you rather have? And you're, and you're nerfing all of my ways. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen hot tub time machine. How's that work? Is that good you're one? You just get in a hot tub and it's a time machine. Is that all it is? That's pretty much. You, uh, is it really? That's exactly I've what not it seen is. it. You could be lying. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've seen it once, but I don't remember. <laughs> Bill and Ted. Bill and the Ted. The phone booth? Yeah. Phone booth's pretty cool. And you get George Carlin there. Dude, the DeLorean, though, can fly. Yeah. Fly. Yeah, but... The and you can get a can, hoverboard. The Flash can run real fast. Ugh! Sarah! Jesus! She learns so much. She does. Like, what the hell is she even tying? Was she tying? A bandage. Keep it on. They probably don't have, like, little grips or anything or sticky stuff, you know? Man, her voice is so different between this and the first two. Like, the accent she's given. Mm -hmm. Smoking. Mm -hmm. She smokes a lot more in the second one. Thank God she's ovulating. I, I guess so. I guess so, Rick. <laughs> Do they plan that? Like, it oh. could it could be the worst week for this to happen, you know? <laughs> like, damn it, she's not wearing a bra. Good thing that happened too. Uh, I was saying, like, how many times have I thought the opposite? Like, thank God she wasn't ovulating. <laughs> <laughs> So how do, hmm. in this movie here, he, he s talks about how they, like in, in all the, hmm. the doctor stuff. Hmm. So he was in the future. They had won. They went to this machine place that the mach machines created, right? Yeah. They sent a Terminator back in time. They sent Reese back in time and then destroyed the facility so that no one else can go back in time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So like what occurs so that the second movie can happen? It's probably a second timeline. Or not, because it's is a closed it, loop. I always thought that the time frame of it was that then it was like, well, we sent back these two, but we also sent back these two. We just didn't tell you. Like, was yeah, that, if it was it, me, I'd send back like 50 in different times, I guess. Is I, Maybe the idea, and maybe it's just I haven't seen the second one in a while, but maybe the idea of that was that, uh, like, after Kyle went back, they realized another time traveler went back, so they, yeah. they fixed an Arnold and sent him back, yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, one know? of the responses to the closed loop paradox is that in an infinite timeline, like, with infinite 
things. We're just seeing the pattern of a loop. Yeah. Where really it's just a you know it's trillions of timelines happening There's at once. You infinite know? number of permutations. So we're, we might just be seeing a different timeline. But we're always seeing the same. No, I understand. We're always seeing the same timeline that Sarah Connor's on now, right? Yeah. Is the idea. Yeah. Like we're seeing what she has to go through, but it keeps I all think so. I know one thing they keep doing is they keep pushing back when you know but D Day is because yeah, it doesn't well, happen in two yeah, and judgment it doesn't day. happen in three. Yeah, Judgment Day. But it could be like uh, Dragon Ball Z rules, where like you know you go back in time, you change something, and now the the present is going on a different thing, but the future still exists somehow. It could be the opposite for that. Maybe I don't know. You know what? It's all fucking fake. That's what it is. Well, Just enjoy. Just enjoy, Aaron. If that, you are having trouble with this, you need to. React to Primer. Primer. <laughs> nice. It's a hell of a it's a hell of a movie. We get to see another Terminator in this movie, right? Yeah, there's one more. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. I think the guy that plays this new Terminator Oh, they have the dogs here too. The guy that plays the new Terminator, like I shouldn't say new, the other one in this one just recently passed away. Hmm. Like within the month. Hmm. Because Arnold had said, like that, the guy that plays the ter- the other Terminator in this scene, uh, he was Arnold's stunt double, maybe. Oh, really? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about the stunt double, but I think the guy that plays this in this scene has just recently passed away. I love their gun design too. He was also a Mister Universe contestant guy. Yeah, the gun. All the designs here are really good. I'm just <laughs> watching. <laughs> watching TV. <laughs> what a shitty, shitty future. This kind of reminds me of RoboCop a little bit. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Just the D- Detroit there? Yeah. Yeah. It's just regular Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hunting for rats. Uh, rickety I'm cricket. Been hunting for dinner. You got dinner, Ma? I don't know why he talks like that. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it was this outfit here and stuff too that they utilize for um, the Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear. Not yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear. Actually, I, I think it's I think it's in this oh, scene there it is. that we see it. There's the dogs. They can tell. Yeah, this guy. But yeah, I believe he was also a uh, competitor in the Mr. But Universe. How does he and Arnold blend it in this world? Like, where are they getting all their protein? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's synthetic. No! Poor I forgot that happened. Poor doggos. That minigun thing, man. What a hell of a, of a thing to then call back later. In the next movie, when Arnold gets a minigun. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no. Uh, Look at those eyes. That's so yes. Good. Well, what happened though? Oh, another great transition. That's the thing. Like we never go away. back. We never go back to see that, right? Yeah. Got away. Like when to Reese, the Terminator, all those people die. Oh, they died. What happened? They're dead. So many great transitions in this movie. He lived. And it does a good job between the the future visions and whatnot, you know. That's all she remembers. The dogs. a nice little culvert and all he's got that little pistol now low first aid kit just throw alcohol in his eye it's all wounded Rick they don't feel pain hurt they don't feel pain (laughs) dear diary yeah you see this this one I feel like Works less than the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the first one didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hairy man. I bet Chad look like that if I let it go. It's disturbing to think about. Possible. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Like, I wonder, was it just like a, a random roll? Of, like, what response he chose? Or? I think it's, he's trying to pick the most successful 
One eight one two seven. See, my my question there too is it. Did he kill someone for that? We never saw anybody in that place. Or is it more of like the organic part that he's cut off in like the sink? Is that what's smelling that? Maybe. Like where's that smell oh. coming from? The flies that are there, you know? Well, they said like he's got, he sweats, he has a bad breath. So it could be that too. But yeah, it's, it's true. It's probably the eyeball. <laughs> Doggy. You smell of the future. Room with a kitchen. Yeah. They got a little kitchen. Yep. I feel like that's not too often you find rooms with kitchens. I mean, more nowadays, but not. Yeah. I feel like not back before. It depends uh, <coughs> where you're at. If you're like around somewhere that's like a destination, you know, that you're gonna stay there for a week or two. Yeah. They're more likely to have something with a kitchen. Is that, are they in a destination? Is that where they are? Yeah, they're fucking L.A. I don't know. <laughs> they're probably by Disneyland. Universal Studios. She needs to start practicing with that gun like Walter. Mm. Just don't shoot the TV. Mm-hmm. My dad did that once. Unload it first. <clears throat> he was practicing quick draw against like some TV show or something he said. Like it was like a Western. And he won. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> he shot the TV. He had the gun loaded. It was better than uh, my, my father-in-law, I think, was doing something similar. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he shot himself in the leg, like down in the calf. Mm -hmm. uh, same trick gets pulled twice. They use the mother's voice. <sighs> Jeez, look at that. Killed the mom. Killed her best friend. Her That's mom. so horrifying right there. And then she goes through all this shit and ends up in an insane asylum. Mm -hmm. Right? She survives this. I mean, it's not immediate that she goes to the asylum, but. It's so funny if, like, he malfunctioned for a second. It's like, I love you too, sweetheart. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> oh, whoops. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, asshole. You don't call anybody. Someone's hunting you. You don't call. Talk to anybody. Mothballs. <clears throat> Do you feel like uh, Kyle Reese's like amazement of the world is missing from this movie? His what? Like you know, he the world that he comes in, like they're chasing rats and like going crazy. But oh. here, he, he's went to a gas station or something. He got you know, stuff. Like, uh, he got stuff, and but there's no like. Nah, it no would bother me so much because like, he's he's supposed to be focused. Yeah, no, I Deadly understand. afraid. But like you know, I, I don't know. You never see like g trees in the future, you know. True. Yeah. <laughs> but like here, he's just like, yeah, all right, yeah, let's go. No, but I, I get understand. You. It's not needed. He doesn't get the time. But is it missing? I don't know. Like, it would be nice if he got a second to kind of enjoy, Maybe. like, the nature when they were walking or Maybe. something, but... He gets to enjoy a hell of a sight here in a few minutes. Yeah, you're right. No time for dinner. We're making explosives, baby. <laughs> no time for love, Dr. What a, Jones. What a date. <laughs> you know? Like... <laughs> You've been like, hey, honey, we're going to make some bombs. Doesn't that happen in T2? <laughs> it's exciting. No, like, like the make explosives or something? What do they do? Um, make something. They're making something in T2. It's like, don't do that. Make this. I can't remember. Mm. I don't recall either. I, w I keep thinking about the, the mother and stuff and the... Mm. Like the, the talking on the phone and the where's Wolfie and where's just Wolfie? stabs yeah. a guy through his like milk yeah. carton milk carton when he's drinking and stuff. That fucking dog won't shut up. <laughs> hey mom, Dude, what's the, wrong with Wolfie? There's, there, there, I, I think I showed you that meme of that scene where it's like, is your mother a Star Wars fan? Uh, yeah, she is. Your parents uh, are dead. <laughs> like, hello there. And then the person says, oh, hi. It's like, your parents are dead. <laughs> they didn't say General <laughs> Kenobi. <laughs> I, I love this scene. Kenobi. Yeah. Like, she's like, you must be so disappointed. I'm not this hero. <laughs> I 
it's really weird that like like he went through and he didn't have someone special there sure. what was special to him was this woman who was in the past from he, so long ago and that's what he looked at to yeah, keep, get picture. him through this you know be like just falling in love with a picture of Marilyn Monroe right yeah it's like here's a woman I can't, I can't be with there's, you know, there's no hope of that <laughs> I'm just fighting fighting for this or something you know it's, like, it's more for, I guess fighting for an ideal not for a yeah I hope it's not like in World War Two where guys like had the picture of their their honey back at home you know I'm like, doing this for her I'm gonna get back to her you know That's the thing too. Look, here's a picture of my mom. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, you know? <laughs> Go do <to> her. <laughs> do it, Dad. <laughs> Dude, yeah, the the actor that plays him in, in Salvation, they, they really casted him really well. Yeah, I can see that being a younger him. Yeah. Have you seen that, Rick? Yeah, I can see it. I was just curious because I knew he was in it, but I forgot what he looked like. Yeah, I knew he was a little younger, but I yeah. just couldn't remember like the timeline of it. He's got that scar on the bottom of his lip. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen those movies in a while. Yeah. But, you know, we got uh, Terminator Dark Fate mm. yep. comes out here soon, too. And that's taking place after 2, right? Like It's yeah. disregarding Salvation and Genesis and yep. 3. It's like the new Halloween movie. Yeah. They've been doing that. I don't know if I like them doing that or if I don't like them doing that idea, you know? Like the only, the only thing I don't like about it is that James Cameron was like, oh, yeah, Genesis, that's the one, you know? And then, all right, <laughs> we got the money? Okay, yeah, we're going to do something else, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It just, I guess I think about it in ways, too, of, like, you know, of Star Wars. Like, a lot of people hated the sure. prequels when the prequels first started. Like, I wouldn't want a George Lucas be like, you know what? I didn't really want to do those. Yeah. I want this is the the true prequels I want to do. You yeah, know, I, I was like, well, you already did this. Just make some more prequels or different stories or add to what you have and better it. Mm-hmm. You know. I love the like this theme on yeah. piano. Yeah, it's it's, it's a, a happier yeah, one. It's beautiful. Cover the boobies. <laughs> if I remember correctly, they're not always covered. There are boobies. Man, John is going to kill me when I get back. Oh, wait. I'm not getting back. I'm good. Oh, I forgot your titties in this. <laughs> <laughs> There's some titties. They're not always covered. Rick remembered. I remember. Just like Pepperidge Farms or whatever. He's squeezing that hand, man. Uncle. Uncle! All right. Dude, this okay. man fought all his life and has never came, probably. I'm sure he did. <laughs> he had that picture <laughs> for a long time. It wasn't okay? the most, like, sexual picture. Look at the way he's riding a bike. Mm. <laughs> Holding the gun up. It's great. It's safe. It's safe. I guess. As far as, like, riding with a gun yeah. on a motorcycle. Oh, the doggy. Don't hurt the dog. Program check. I can't see shit. There's the truck. Yeah, I know, right? It's so hard to see anything. It's like in the Predator's vision. It's like, I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> How the hell does he know? <laughs> like, anything is either red or it's completely black. Like, I couldn't make the difference. I couldn't tell what that guy looked like, you know? The guy we just saw there? Dude, he just... That was too much, Terminator. Gotcha! Oh, God damn it, they're not here. Got her. He knew exactly what room and everything. Boom, wow. baby! Gotcha, bitch. See, he doesn't run like the one guy. Robert Patrick. I know. It's such a crazy run. That run. Just... Oh, I gotcha. Spartan Burgers, baby. I like the truck they're in. Mm-hmm. Did not he, if he took off the glasses, maybe he could see better in that red vision. Is that what the problem is? Maybe. <laughs> He's trying to blend in too much. Yeah. It doesn't work because every time he sees somebody, even wearing this, they're like, "God!" <laughs> <laughs> you drive. 
And I believe this scene was inspired by Surf Ninjas. Oh, is that is that where it came from? <laughs> was it wasn't this before Surf Ninjas, Rick? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it was a high speed. A little speed ramp. Camera speed. Yeah, dude, every dun, truck dun. ever. Like, I don't know what it is about movies and television shows. When if you're if you go by a camera, you honk your horn. Yeah. <laughs> With the but, Doppler effect. Is that truck not supposed to do that, though? No, they just always do it. Oh, it's just like any time you swing a sword or draw from its sheath. Yeah. Shing, I know. was watching Supernatural the other day, <laughs> and there was no reason for a truck that went, that just drove by go, <laughs> I was like, come on, why are you doing that? Man, he's missing, Ooh, man. That's a good shot. Oh, he's got to, like, cook it just oh. the right amount. Oh. Good, no good. I just would have stopped. Like, that would slam into you? Yeah. He probably would fucking turn me and grab on, you know? Yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Why did he shoot that? Because <laughs> it's her face. His, his fucking fa his eyes can't tell the difference between what's red and black. Yeah, he, he just has, saw her. Oh, he has shot. no depth perception. <laughs> It's like as soon uh, as Kyle gets shot, like, she takes over as the hero yeah. of the movie. She has and, to, man. And now he's the damsel in distress. I mean, he's tried to teach her everything he can. Because it's because she's been inspired by the inspiration that she put in him in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the inspiration he just put in her. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what? Insemination. <laughs> Insemination. Oh, oh God! That guy didn't slow down at all. He's like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> he just honked. Like, get, honk out, get out of the way. It's like he, he was honking, but then he was surprised. Because <laughs> <laughs> these guys just walk around with their honking. I love the sparks coming from. Yeah. Oh man. Better yeah. check and see if he's dead. It's such a good thing that that happened too, right? Like, at least now he's kind of fucked up. Before he would, he definitely just killed her. Yeah, now he's got to like hobble. I thought maybe not. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. There he goes. Yeah. He didn't look very hobbly there in the long, <laughs> the wide shot. Get Why out. does he need a truck now? He knows his walking is impaired. Ah, so good. Now that looks great. Why didn't they just do that for the other shit, that man? Looks... I would have bought it. I know that it's really far out from where his other eye is, but I don't care. Uh, yeah. Just do that. And you just can, like, download the schematics like yeah. he's in the Matrix. I mean, I feel the same way about Cyborg and... Uh, Junk um, Van Damme? And no, no. Doom Patrol? And Doom Patrol, where the oh. one eye it's much, is so it's much further, further out. out than the other. But and his chest so is good. bigger, but yeah. it, I can it buy so it. Good. It's me metallic yeah. and shit going on. I wouldn't create a whole fake head. <laughs> to sell that, you know, that depth. Why, did, why didn't you just go over to her and just fucking... Because this is cooler. Oh, and he knows they have, like, explosives and, and stuff. Uh, here comes something else flipping. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every, every vehicle has flipped and done some kind of crashing. Dude, I love the face with the eye and stuff. It looks so yeah. good. And that looked a little Why? worse. Why, Why did, they do, did that? they do that? What was wrong with the original one? Yeah, know. that was a fake one. Why did they do that for? Why? I guess they just... Is it because it's they back in they, his head they more? They didn't like the look of how far up it is? I don't know. And the tailpipe. Like, yeah, I don't know. Well, like, yeah, they wanted to have the... They're wanting to have the actual eye move. And the metallic pieces inside his cheek was kind of yeah. moving around and stuff, too. But it's not worth it. Like, that's so much scarier than that. Yeah. That looks like a toy. That is a long fuse. Oopsie daisy. Dude, she got away from that. That was one million. Oh, that's a dumpster fire. <laughs> There's one million. <laughs> now, is that a model truck they blew up, or was that a real truck? Does that look good? It looked like a real truck. I don't yeah. know. I mean, it was a real something. I mean, she was running along a green screen when it yeah, blew up, yeah. but. Ah, oh, so cool. This guy on fire has to act like it's not a big deal. He's yep. like making these little small steps. He's like, oh, my God. 
please put me out the next shot. <laughs> like he's in that flame suit, you know? You could yeah. see how much bigger it was because of like yeah. the, the fire suit he was in. Yeah. Now about this one. Yeah. Now we don't that have one to, looks like to just worry about the bad makeup anymore. Nope. Oh, this is so cool. Or Arnold. No more Arnold now. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's dead. I'm dying. He's just looking at her. There she is. Fuck off, asshole. Nah, I, I love like, like this is your moment you get when like, ah, oh, we finally beat the killer of the movie, you know? And then he comes back for his one last scare. And the scare he gets here in a second when they get back together is great. Yeah. If I remember it correctly, which I'm pretty sure I do. Well, and... It, like, does, like, a brah, you know? Like, well, like if only the movie hadn't ended now, like, Kyle's still alive. Yeah, it would be very different, you know? It's a little happier. They both survived everything and beat the monster. Where do you get shot, though? Here we go. Look back there. See that piece right there? So mm -hmm. good. So beautiful. It's amazing. <clears throat> My. Yes. I don't know how he got there. Like, what walked out and caught on fire, you know? Like, and like he's buried under the rubble and stuff now. Look oh, it looks so good. How good it looks. It's so scary. 1984 for $6 million. The difference between Dear what we God. had with the Arnold weird-looking thing and this. Stop motion. And it has to limp. It has to limp because, the, you know, the robotic pieces got hurt earlier when it got ran over. Ding, ding. Look at that. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Tell me this isn't a horror movie. Like, it gets a lot scarier right here now. Now that you've gotten rid of, like, the, any of the hum, human-looking parts and stuff, yeah. you've and, got this... M and when we say it's a horror movie, we're not saying it's not a sci-fi movie or a thriller. It is it's also a horror movie right here, you know? Look at that! Oh, That's so cool. I love the red eyes. Man. And they do so well with the red eyes, like, the different times with the Terminator, like, yeah. seeing him, like, that other Terminator showing up yeah. with just the red eyes. And it's like, so iconic. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, it's coming at him. It, it, I mean, Close the fucking gotta door. Be honest, it looks fake. It does. But there's something about the, like, music, like, like, time I mean, capsule we're in right now. It looks fake, it. but there's still something real there. Yeah, no, I get you. I you get know? you. I, I, I definitely agree. I mean, I, I look at it, and I'm not, I'm not thinking that it's a, it's real in the scene. Sure. But there's something about the way it's happening on screen that I don't know, man. It's like going to a museum and being like, man, these motherfuckers were smart. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like I can't build shelter, but these guys did with dirt. On your feet, soldier. <clears throat> look at that. That's great. That's greatness. I love when they do this, honestly. I think I like that more than the stop motion. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. On your feet. Like, so. any of the close-up shots are just perfect yeah. of him, I think. Some of the wide walking shots, you can tell it's like that stop motion. Yeah. I would have done this as much as you could. You yeah. Know? Though it, I know you can't all the time. I mean, I still buy that. Yeah, even that, yeah. I, I think, is great. It. It, Look that's at that. so much better though. It, Look at that. It's when the humans are also in the frame. Like, just do those shots. I think you could do those more. You just show the feet themselves yeah. moving. Yeah. You just see the top of the body moving. You don't do the whole body. Like, yeah. look at that. It's so. It's like scanning. And searching. by the way, we should do this now. We shouldn't be CG in this shit. Have a puppeteer do it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you did that stuff now with today's animatronics that'd be so much better yeah. than cg in these things i'm really curious on what this next terminator is going to have yeah. and do based on like the next terminator movie dark fate yeah i know they have some kind of weird splitting of like uh, you know the answer. the liquidy look and the real like terminator body yeah. but i hope they do a lot of this and don't just make everything cg dude the iris like you know getting mm -hmm. closing in it's so good like it's actually looking hey some metal It just kind of reminds me of Child's Play 3 a little bit, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the factory thing. <gasps> Ooh. That is just so... They give it a smile. It still has that... Yeah, the teeth, you know? And now it needs more light. <laughs> like, I'm glad it doesn't talk. It doesn't say anything in Arnold's voice. It's mm -hmm. just a killer now. 
and they they gave it a reason to not move so fast because mm-hmm. it's hurt, you know? Yeah. Rather than like, just fucking, why doesn't he just catch him? Sometimes it's, the horror movies do that. Like, yeah. just get him. <laughs> but I, mean, I think the shots of the close-ups when they're using the puppet are so effective. I would have just done that in every the whole time. It's after you, Sarah. Yeah, like these hits here. Like, it looks so good. Yeah. The big wide shots. I mean, I understand needing to do it because you need to have something hit. Sure. And it needs to look a little different, but, I mean... Oh. Explosive. <laughs> Glunk. And these are the pieces in T2, right? Yep. Yeah, they're found. In, so that's the thing, too, like leading into like mm-hmm. Cyberdyne's like you know, information it finds and all this stuff. Like, where does it where does it all get conceived at? Uh, the angle doesn't look good. <clears throat> she got blown off that ladder and hurt her ankle. Well, and got stabbed. And, yeah, that's she's got was. shrapnel in her leg. That makes more sense. Uh, you probably have like his femur in your femur. A rib. His femur in your <laughs> femur. Ugh. Look at that. that point you might want to leave it in there yeah maybe i don't know your, you know your thighs have such like a lot vital. of veins and stuff yeah a lot of cultures consider like your thighs to hold your like your lifeblood you know mm. because you get cut there you can just bleed out really quick He was just doing his job. He knew he wasn't coming back. And here, you, they do it again, too. Yep. You know, that you beat the Terminator, you've beaten the villain. It's just you, Sarah. Uh, I mean, you have to do this. He says, like, it will not stop ever. It doesn't even stop at the end of this movie. There's another movie. <laughs> right? But look at that. He's missing one hand there. No, yeah. no lower part, you know. I think his left hand's gone. It's just going. It's programmed for one thing. It's great. All they can both do is crawl. And the music. And now she's surrounded by machines. She's surrounded by the future. Like a factory like this is what built this thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is where George Lucas got it for episode two. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Man, this is this so thing. cool. Eric, would you do this? No. Eric? You, no. You hate this stuff, don't I'd you? I've been dead in the first act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been ginger. <laughs> With a sandwich and the yeah. milk. <laughs> you didn't even get sex before. <laughs> nope. Nope. No Matt for me. Notice I didn't say I was Matt. Yeah. yeah right. Because <laughs> he, he fought him. Yeah. <laughs> I like how like. It's, it tries here and it's a little slippery. It's yeah. like the metal on metal, you know? Like it has a little bit more trouble pulling as much as it did earlier. Oh, this is oh. good. And see, all of this, you know, it's all like a, a puppet movement, yeah. you know? None of it's that. That same shot in Aliens with the. The, yep. the thing coming out? Yeah, well, when she's in the loader. And then she accidentally hit it earlier, and then... Bad, come on. Ah! Love the 80s! <laughs> and all that's left is the arm and the chip. I love the eyes. Yep. Fading out. Love the expansion of the metal. And the lightning, too, yeah. Boys, I got to watch T2, like, tonight. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to watch this movie for the last two weeks. Yeah. Have you? You're like, if it might win, I want to be, I wanna, I wanna I be a little fresher it. on it. <laughs> be some shit if that thing killed her right now. It's the hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 
sons of bitches like the government covers that shit up i know man so no one believes her and she's the, in the insane asylum yeah like they had they know it's real they still do it anyway you know i think i think in the second one the cyberdyne thing exists but they're not in robotics yet mm. i was hoping maybe it said something somewhere Dubbed. Not even a windsock on that mic. Nope. It's just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> she's pregnant, got a gun, got a dog. She got, got a dog, Jeep. though, you yep. know? Like she's. And chickens, she's out. There's fucking chickens, man. Out somewhere where she can hide more, you know? Well, well, just, she's in Mexico now, right? Like her tone of voice, to her posture. Because like she goes down to Mexico yeah. before she's in the. Uh, I yeah. think she goes to Mexico because then she goes there again in T2 to yeah. Renegade. Yeah. Renegade for life. No, this follows a lot. It, it it follows a mix of like things that Alien does, but things that horror movies do. You know, mm. like you always have like that. At most horror movies, Friday Thirteenth and uh, Nightmare Before Elm Street and stuff. They they cover like that female protagonist mm-hmm. that's barely getting away and managing to beat the evil by the end of it. But in this one, they also like, you know, it, it's kind of a mix of like Kyle Reese having a saver, but her becoming what she needs to to make yeah. sure she can save herself too well, you know yeah I, my favorite thing about it is she is the action hero and kills it but the way she actually wins is by becoming a mother mm. yeah true i get you you know it, it it's a way that like a male protagonist could not have the same outcome yeah yeah he wouldn't be able to do that and then you also need her to be able to teach her son to be what he needs to be mm-hmm Mothers can change the future. And it's so great, the, the coming back around, because earlier he was talking about he got a picture from uh, from John of Sarah, and, like, she always looked so sad, and he wondered, like, what she was thinking about in those moments when the picture got taken. Mm-hmm. And then here you're hearing the words she's saying when the picture gets taken. Yeah. It, so you get to know, like, so much of, like, uh, he's talking about, she's talking about how sad she is that Kyle's don- gone. Yeah. And the moments they had together was amazing. And he gets that picture right then, and then that goes to Kyle. Uh, that kid was like, if I don't sell this, my father will beat me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, that loving glance that she's showing is yeah. for him, and he somehow yeah. feels that. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, you boys, you just got me. The storm coming. Feeling in my bones. What happens to her dog? Do what? What happens to her dog? Um, it we probably, only stays, that in T2. probably yeah. stays down in Mexico. Well, it's probably taken away when she's put in the oh asylum, putting a pound so or something. Mad. Although it's, it probably dies in the next There's a 13 storm years or whatever. There is a storm. Look at those mountains. There's a storm coming, Annie. A matte painting. Yep. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. That's right. it. Love yeah. it. It's a good movie. Crazy movie. good. Haven't seen it forever. Glad I saw it. Acknowledgement to the works of Harold. Yeah, they, they had to put that in because he won the... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the lawsuit. Because that, that was the yeah. guy from... Oh, okay, I got gotcha, you. We gotcha. acknowledge you. <laughs> All right. No. No, it's, it's a great movie. I really enjoy it. I get, I'm hoping at some point we get to cover T2. Oh, yeah. I also want to cover um, the Dark Fate movie just to see, like, yeah. how it looks and how it compares with, you know, the T1, T2 movies. Yeah. But, I don't know. There's so much in it that's... It's action. It's horror. I love... It's... Yeah. I mean, there's so many things I love, but I think the most... The thing I love the most is the the puppetry at the end with the Terminator thing is so good. It's so well designed. Yeah. You know? It's, so it's good. great. And it's then it's of course, Arnold so in the music. Yeah. Music's good. Yeah. Like the theme. It's one of the best themes ever. Mm-hmm. It has. Yeah. And I, and I knew it first in T2, you know, sure. and it's yeah. the, the music they have in the whole, this whole yeah. movie. I like too. like, they have like the good horror beats, there yeah but then they also jump into some action they also have some yeah. synth for the future and stuff you know which is also very 80s in general anyway so it, it's just a it's a time capsule that's what this whole movie is it it's is a time, time capsule, capsule yeah, of I like i loved watching alien the same way um but yeah i mean the, you know the music i had there's a couple parts where i'm like that's not it's not timeless for me 
T two, it definitely gets timeless. Sure. Yeah. I feel like, and then when they bring it back in Lord of the Rings, is when they I really feel like they really nailed the, that music. Yeah, the music. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks everyone. Yeah, uh, we appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys are uh, tuning in next week when we're going to be watching uh, or reacting to uh, something. Something. I'm not sure what it is yet. We'll find out. Make sure you guys find out with us. Bye-bye. Go over there and vote. Uh, patreoncom slash wave for other future commentary and reaction polls as well. That's it. Bye. We'll be back. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. We have a new movie commentary and our reaction coming out every week through mm-hmm. October. We've been covering different <laughs> horror movies and such. So we have a new horror yeah. uh, uh, reaction. <laughs> uh, should be up on early access yeah, right yeah. now. You so, your mama. Your what? Your mama. I repeat to that guy.